with my two sons being engineering students and my husband being a science buff all our conversations have revolved around maths physics technology computers and their use in daily life how could i not visit a place called technopolis a complex around an hour's drive from bangkok thailand it's a beautiful complex which is well known for the national science museum and information technology museum this complex has around four museums a a tech park a technology and information university and some research centers it is a hub for the science students researchers and also for the general public who are interested in the genius breakthrough and inventions in science and who are, who really want to know about the scientific achievements marvels and history now this is national science museum a beautiful structure now let's go inside and see when i had gone there was a science camp organized by few local schools let us go inside the museum and see what's there in store for us this is the entrance and we have to buy tickets if you are a student or a university a teacher you, your entrance is free otherwise we need to buy a ticket which is which is around 50 baht but it's worth Now this museum features more than 250 hands-on exhibits and models about science and technology in daily life. They are basically six major themes and you have science labs science walk rally uh some science shows on the ground floor so on the first floor the ma- the basic major theme is pioneer of science now this is a sitting place where you can take rest and then there is a science dorm uh which is a small planetarium which showcases we have a science museum where you can become a real scientist in these labs and ask questions you can experiment and find the answers yourself this is the science lab Now here the information is carefully structured through engaging interactive displays attention is basically given to the application of science in daily life
to explain the inventions a combination of demonstration interactive program and thought provoking media is used when i had gone there was an electricity exhibition but this is a temporary weekly exhibition which they keep on changing every week and there's a science theater on the ground floor where there are different science shows on different topics now we go upstairs uh this there is a small uh fun science room for children under the age of 8 years they can also have a lot of fun here and some interactive experiments then we go to the second floor there's time science technology and fertile earth there is a small imax 3d movie station here this is a station which give you details about the various uh, famous scientists so on third floor now we go to third floor where where the theme of this floor is the basic science uh where there are where you the attention and information is uh, given through uh interactive displays and and hands on experiments and we see the fourth floor which is Um, the theme of this fourth floor is the earth and science and technology in the daily life and then and there is the contemporary technology the fifth and sixth floor is of course uh, the future of science and also the thai traditional signs oh when i had gone there was a science camp or orga- being organized by a few local schools and from there was so much of excitement and Once I had done with the National Science Museum, uh there was a facility of golf cart which took me around the whole campus. They showed me all the four uh, museums, the um the park, the technology university, the research centers. and after seeing all that uh my next stop was to go and explore the information technology museum
So there are 50 displays showcasing information from the history of tech, the types of communication and the contemporary times. There was virtual reality, there was this NSM studio, a radio studio, a television studio, there was a Lego education studio where hands-on experiments can be done by children and how the science is used in daily life. Here I could see all these science students being enjoying this section of the museum the most. This is the digital city where they do show certain uh, then, uh, there was uh, Lego Education Center. There was a section where there was a simulator which was being enjoyed by the children. There was a section where there was a virtual museum. This was one of the most interesting and basically for children from the higher education university. It's basically on internet, networking of the television and It was worth coming to Technopolis and on my way back I had lunch at the Scientist Lodge. Good food and great knowledgeable place. I would love to come back again with my children and my friends. And please do subscribe. Have a great day.